So today I'm going to show you how to use Kids InfoBits. This is one of my favorite databases because it has so much available. Um, it's available to us through the Prince William County Library. So if you go to our Symbaloo page, the Prince William County Library link is over here in the corner. You can also just look up Prince William County Public Library. When I go here, you can see I'm under the Digital Library option, and that'll bring up all of these different databases that you have access to. A lot of them are only available to you if you have a public library card, um, and right now they're offering them online so you don't have to go in anywhere. So if you're interested in that, then um, you can contact the public library and get a library card number so you have access to all of these resources. Kids Info Bits, if I come up here to Kids, it'll pull up all the kids' resources. And if I go down here, Kids Info Bits is right here. Now what I like about this database is it has a wide variety of topics and it pulls up multiple different articles about a topic. So up here, if I want to search something, let's say I'm going to research lions, I type that in, you can see it pulls up 47 book articles, 7 biographies, 19 pictures, 244 magazine articles, 749 newspaper articles. Now, not all of these are going to be exactly what you're looking for, so you might have to sort through a little bit, but it does have a lot of really good information. So these first two about Chronicles of Narnia are probably not what I'm looking for if I'm doing research on lions, but I can click here. You can see it'll pull up this whole article all about lions. It's not super long, but enough to give you some background. The other nice thing about this is if I click on Listen. Lions. Lions are the biggest wild cats. Copyright Ariadne Van Zandbergen slash L. So you can see it'll read to you. You also have the option to translate the article, so you can translate it into any of these languages. Let's say I want it in Spanish. Now it's not going to read to you in the other languages, but it is available. If I go back. Another nice thing is that if you are logged into your Office 365 account, so up here where it says sign in with Microsoft. So your student would type in their Microsoft Office login. You can see signed in as Amy because I'm logged in now. If I click on this Lions article and then I want to send to OneDrive, it'll send it right to my OneDrive folder. So then if you want to go back and refer to the article again, you don't have to go searching. You also have the option to highlight. So you can highlight as you read. If I highlight that and then click here, you can see I even picked the highlight color. If I read this, that they can be eight feet, and I want to remember this, I can click. I can even write a note here. And then at the end, it will compile all your notes in one place. So this is an easy way to do research. Um, and it also gives you the source citation right here, so all you would have to do is copy this and paste this into a document so that you're citing your sources as you go. The other nice thing about Kids Info Bits is that it's one that has some of the most modern information. So I know a lot of kids, towards um, when school ended, wanted to do research on Kobe Bryant. If I search him, you can see it'll pull up quite a few articles about him, and those aren't going to be available in a lot of other databases, but they are going to be available here. Again, I can click on one that looks good. I can have it read to me. I can take notes, and I can save it to my OneDrive. 